percent of Americans will give up on their New Year's resolutions by February. But there's one thing Americans never give up. AM, FM radio. In fact, TV reaches 86% of Americans. Radio commercials just like this one will reach 93% of Americans in every single week of 2018. So if you want to reach more moms, fans, teens, professionals, shoppers, and well, more of pretty much everyone, radio's the way to do it. Make a resolution to go to iHeartMedia.com and put radio to work for your company in 2018. I don't understand. I'm so over Let me have you wait. They don't, they don't me want to tell you when the like fuck they're going to play this shit. Sale? So they're going to listen to that shit all day. Chili. How about this? I got time, get an extra 20 or 15% off with our Macy's card. I just tell you what the fuck it's warmer. Cool and big savings on junior fashion, activewear, and great wear to work books for the guys. Okay. Oh, yeah, man. I'm going to, um, I don't drink soda no more or juice. All water now. Ooh, Shit actually good though. I don't know why, but I used to hate water if I wasn't playing sports or nothing like that. But now, this shit. It's heavy right now, heading out of Camden West over the Ben Franklin Bridge. It appears they're setting up road work again to at least one or two lanes. So try to be patient with that. Looks like folks out of town are doing a little bit better on the Vine Expressway after delays were caused on the westbound Scoogle by two accidents in the disabled vehicle that have since been cleared. And we're dealing with road work on a portion of the Cal Street northbound through Bridgeport near Route 23 that's causing delays all around. They're playing this shit in the next minute. I'm just going to tell you what the fuck. What the fuck is what the hot shit I'm playing up? I ain't got time. I know. I ain't got no Rocket rent. Mortgage is simple so you can understand the details and be sure you're getting the right mortgage. Apply simply, understand fully, mortgage confidently. Visit rocketmortgage.com today. Licensed in all 50 states, equal housing lender, NMLS number 3030. Hey guys, no matter what anyone says, Size does matter to us women. Oh, that's oh, right. Fuck? Size does matter. I do not be listening to this. This should be like, this should be blowing my heart. Satisfy like. her in the bedroom. Now, there's no more excuses with Noxitril, the remarkable all-natural. Hey, probably not playing. I thought they had me up with the whole point of the gym. It was a funny, it was a funny joke. Groundbreaking male enhancement formula. It's science shattering. It's packed with the highest quality, potent, and effective ingredients that go to work right away to increase blood flow fast. And best of all, no side effects like prescription meds. Call and find out how you can get your free supply today. One it's 10 o'clock on the dot. They got 10.03. That's it. 10.03. Man, man, if they don't sound like they're about to play it, then do we just go home? Right now, I'm going to go ahead and tell you what the fuck happened. 800-495-5662. That's 800-495-5662. It's like Viagra on steroids. I got a nigga in a truck. Just like with your free supply. Call 800-495-5662. That's 1-800-495-5662. Attention WWE fans, come meet Bucky I don't Bucky even Bucky hang with bitches. Sasha Banks I just do my thing with bitches. If you see me with them nine times out of ten, I'm banging with bitches. Whoa, 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 whoa. From 11 a.m. to 1 p.m., beat the crowds and get in line early. There's a great deal for everyone at JCPenney. Now through Sunday only, come in and find amazing deals on items for the whole family. Save up to 60% off exertion activewear, coats, hats, gloves, and scarves for everyone. Plus, basics for boys, girls, and men, and bras and socks for her are buy one, get one, 50% off. Sign a gift card, use it today, in-store or at jcp.com. Hurry and Sunday, JCPenney. Offer valid 119 to 121. Buy one, get one. Offer valid 116 to Offer represents savings on regular or original prices. Small supplies last. Some exclusions apply. See store or jcp.com for details. Hey pros, did you know that when you buy in bulk at Lowe's, you can save big? Like when you buy contractor quantities of Hardy Backer cement boards, you can save up to 10%. And that's an everyday savings too. It's just one of the many I services Lowe's offers shit, pros right? to help put more money toward I their bottom line. My pays be shorter than a midget, Plus, yeah. You can save time you. by ordering ahead on Lowe's for pros.com. My pays be shorter than a midget at the apartment, you know Learn more about what we can offer your business by stopping in and talking to one of our pro services specialists today. Don't miss a commercial free block tonight at 3.30 p.m. Hosted by our friend 50 Cent and the cast from the new movie, Den of Thieves. Make sure you tune in and don't forget to check out Den of Thieves, yeah. the bank heist movie of 2018. And I better get a crazy yeah. intro drop. Yeah, we got free times on the phone. You know, one of the craziest things on the ground. Like I did the crazy jump. This shit ain't crazy to start over. And creditrepair.com to help rebuild their credit score. I went to get my first car. I had to get a used car, high interest, and so I knew that things were things were done from there. For over That's what I'm saying, man. Fuck they playing on a power night in your credit issues. Fuck the power went out. Your creditors and the credit bureaus. Power night. Ah, God damn, what's the power went out? Items like late payments, collections, charge-offs, liens, bankruptcy, and foreclosures that are unfair or inaccurate. I've gone up forty points already. 
There are many services offering to tell you your credit score and even yeah, one more minute, man. So what good is just knowing your credit score when what you really need is yeah, to one fix more it? Minute, credit man. repair members see a significant improvement in their credit one scores minute. month after month. Call now to get your no I feel like a fine. They, they only got four minutes to play what I just report. said on that radio. I'm a mean that as hell. Cause in four minutes, I never have my plans again. It's a new year at Jim Sapalakia, and we're offering zero. Fuck they for the sleep. But is it a Brown and Ground morning show over at 10 o'clock? That's crazy. And always remember, Jim Sapella wants to see you in a Kia. Go online now at Kia of Westchester or Kia of Coatesville.com. It's 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 Kia of all right, man. So basically, I'm in the crib. You know, me and my daughter all coated all up. You know what I'm saying? We warm the shit under the blankets. You know what I'm saying? She's supposed to got up for the daycare at 6.30. Right? I ain't even going to frog. I tried to wake up at 6.30. She giving me heavy sleep joint. I'm like, oh, I feel bad. Cause I know my mom used to do that shit to me. So I know how it I know how it feel to, you know, want that five more minutes. I mean, you know what's already? All right, cool. It was just be there. I hate you all. Like, all right, cool, 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 cool. We cut it all up. I finally get up. It's like 7.30, almost 8, and I get up. I'm like, all right, now get your ass up, man. So she's still halfway asleep. I get to butt ass neck, and I'm about to wash her real quick, give her a little quick little wipe down and all that with a rag. I check my phone. My DM from Diamond Cut said, uh, it said, listen, now somebody talking about you on the radio. I didn't see that message yet. Then she got ahead and texted my phone. I ain't getting rich. Listen to the radio. Somebody talking about your radio, and this shit is funny. I ain't got no fucking radio in the crib. So I downloaded these three dumbass radio apps. I don't know why the fuck I thought it was a good idea. I downloaded three radio apps. I'm searching the problem right now. The radio app, the fucking, the fucking radio app ain't even, you see what I'm saying? Ain't even fucking, ain't even, ain't, it don't even work like that. So now I'm like, oh, I can't even listen to it. I said, record it for me. Yada, yada, yada. She said, all right. So now I'm like, I got to fit, I got to fit it through the Zara. I got Zara already. I'm trying to go to the daycare. She keep pointing at McDonald's. So I'm like, oh, my God, I put up McDonald's, got a little brecky brecky, you know what I'm saying? Now, Cuts text me again, like, listen, they about to play it again at uh at uh, at Naso. I'm like, alright, bet. So I ran a passenger seat, I'm in a joint. Well, I found that I got a Yeah, so now so so, so I ran a passenger seat, I'm in a joint. But come on, yeah, it's the boy cake dot from Southwest. Yada 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 again, man. I was bring up my shooter two weeks ago. Man, was like, why, what happened, man? He said, yeah, man, I caught out another nigga DM. Matter of fact, this the boy, this the boy, Rich Dollars from the Grand Game, man. She all in his DM. She shooting her shot. He, he sending these hearts back and all that. So, yeah, so I see that in the DM. Then, you know me, I turn into FBI agent boy. I go on his page. I go to his recent likes and this and that, her recent likes and all that. I see he be liking her pics and all that. So, I see why she out in the DM. But, no, I can't be ugly with no, yeah, yeah, the boy, the boy. You know the boy, man. The boy be like, okay, you hype. Yeah, home, home, home. Instagram boy. And I'm mad. I'm sorry because, like, I follow him. Like, I be commenting on his videos. I'm cracking the fuck up on top of my bitch in his DM. Zara right there. No bullshit, right? You ever felt somebody looking at you? So I'm listening to the drawers with some nut shit. Like, what the fuck is boy talking I look at Zara. Zara like, damn. I'm like, what? Listen, listen, mama. Listen, listen. Your dad ain't no nut ass nigga. He don't be in no, you know what I'm saying? Like, he ain't even like that. You see what I'm saying? She got the whole, she stopped eating her eggs. Oh, she looking at me like this. I'm like, how the fuck you know I'm Rich Dollars? I'm that booty. You, how the hell you know me Rich Dollars anyway? Why are you listening to it? You see what I'm saying? I'm slapping on, I'm trying to, I'm trying to flip it on Zara because she looking at me like, how the fuck she know I'm Rich Dollars? You see what I'm saying? Real rad. But my whole thing is to this, man, for one, you don't go on no fucking radio saying another man name all over John. Like, what, like, my thing is this. She, she hopped in my DM. I didn't have a hot DM, but this is the thing that fucks me up is them heart things, they overrated. Cause I feel like y'all people are um are misusing them. When you when you just buy a heart in a DM, like you know how, how it be in the corner, that just means like same way you stroll down your fucking timeline and you press the heart on another nigga picture, it's it's a like. It say boom 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 and twenty thousand others like, not love, like your picture. So my thing is in the DM, it's the same shit. I'm not sitting heart eyes or an actual heart. I'm just tapping the button on the right. That's not the same heart as me sitting on hearts like I want it. That's just me saying I like it. 
Because I'm not ignorant. If I open your fucking jaw, I don't want it to say seen. Man, I'm looking all like I'm Hollywood. Oh, he Hollywood. This is, so I just hit the heart. You follow what I'm saying? So it don't, it don't, be, it don't, it don't be that deep. He, I wouldn't have broke up with it, though. So hold on, I ain't done. So then, I say, all right, cuts, I heard. She said, yeah, man, boy, out of pocket, man. But you got to leave them girls alone. You can't be hopping them girls. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, I don't hop in no fucking girls to you. So now, like, 10 minutes go by. I'm mad now. Like, this nigga gonna set my name. He all lying, trying to fuck my family all up. You know I got a little family now. He trying to fuck my family all up. I say, I say, Dom. I say, Dom. My phone will roll. I say, Dom. You got to be calling back up there, man. I got to talk my shit. She said, all right, all right, bet. Call up here at 920. You know what I'm saying? And then we gonna go from there. I caught up there at 920. She was mixing. So they already know call back in like five minutes. I'm like, all right, bet. I'm angry. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna hop on the joint. I've never been on the radio. So I'm gonna say, you know what I can't stand. Got I'm gonna go all in. Five minutes go by as I call. Mikey Dre answered the phone. I'm like, what's up, Dre? Like, yeah, man, the boy been talking crazy, but he said, listen, but hold on. Don't talk for like two minutes. She's still DJing, but when she get off, we're gonna pre-record the conversation that we're gonna play. That's what they talking. I'm like, all right, bet. So he gonna say, yeah, man, so the boy came up here, yada, yada. He's like, yeah, so what you got to say? I'm like, listen, man, you wanna know what I can't stand, man? I'm mad at y'all. Why y'all not gonna say my name all of the joint? The other person give him all these beats. Beep, 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 beep. You know what I'm saying? So he says somebody's name. He's like, no, nah, man, we, I'm gonna let him say it, man, because we ain't want, I mean, we want you to get the motherfucking publicity, you know what I'm saying? A little, a little popularity, I'm gonna get you a couple followers. I'm like, listen, man, he, he out here saying my character. But then we start begging. I said, listen, I'm not, bro, I'm not leaving my chick because she ain't another nigga DM. I'm, a, I'm considered a celebrity. These bitches being Chris Brown DM, fucking whoever else popping in the fucking DM. It's just a fantasy. You know, it's a, it's a thing of theirs. It's not that. It's not literal. These girls have boyfriends that fucking post famous famous celebrity guys. It ain't, it's the same shit. I would have broke up with her. I would have just said, okay, you hype. And then I would have unfollowed me because I didn't want to be on some shit like I'm following him. See what I'm saying? But I would've, I'm not breaking up. I'm not Break it up with it because she was in a, a, a celebrity DM. Like, that's that's like weird, but you know. Yeah, man, but my thing, keep my name out your fuck. Don't be lying like that, dog. Got me thinking I'm in bitches DMs and all that. No, I just send hearts back because that's just the, you know, the right thing to do. You got niggas out here on my top. Did he say from Southwest? I'm like, let me get my gun. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're a rap. Okay, dog, you got to do better, bro. Bro, it ain't that deep. Go get your girl back. I'm telling you right now, go get your girl back. It was not that deep. You didn't, you didn't get. I wait. Then, then I go to the gram. Yeah, I'm a, yeah, wait, yeah, I'm a fucking celebrity. You tripping? I'm, I'm a celeb. I'm like a fucking effless celebrity. You tripping? But you getting blocked for even dickies on some celebrity? Oh, you killing me? Okay, well I'm blocking you too, bitch. How about that? Fuck you talking about? Ever to play me, bitch? I'm, I'm hung. Fuck you talking about? Yeah, she messing up my little family, man. You know I got a little family, man. You can't be doing that. And then the creep what about it? When I heard the story, I didn't believe this shit not one second. I'm like, oh no, oh no, no, he on some nut shit. They told us, oh, you know who she is, and I want to know who she is. So I can beat her the fuck up. And my thing is, why the fuck you? Why are you going through like people DM? Fuck is you doing? Y'all niggas still go through DMs and phones on some real shit? Come on now, seriously, seriously, Roger. Come on now, man. That shit late. Who the fuck, like, I'm not even giving you my password. Like, you're not going through my, like, that's weird as shit. Stay in your shit, I stay in my shit. You got to catch me live and direct. You ain't going to catch me through no mess. You got to catch me live and direct. You got to catch me dick all inside. You know what I'm saying? I'm moaning, she barking. That's the, that, that's how you catch me. You're not about to catch me in, no, in, in, in my DM on my phone because you ain't going to do it. I'm not saying there's something in there, but it's the principle. You might read something that you ain't supposed to fucking read. I could be texting my motherfucking mom. I bought my motherfucking bro who got AIDS or something, and they ain't nobody supposed to know. You are reading my messages. That's why I don't want people going to my phone. They ain't got to do a shit with me what I'm doing. Other people tell me they business. You see what I'm saying? But we got to do better. The fuck is you doing going through your girl DM anyway? Like, come on now, man. That's a care ass nigga. But you know, if you go looking, you're going to find. If you, listen, man, if you go looking, you're going to find something. And that's a, and that's a Fendi. It may not be something we're breaking up over. It may be something small. It may be something large. But you're going to find something at the end of the day. You're going to find something at the end of the day, man. Yeah. Man, that going through the phone. That shit hurt your fucking heart. I'm not ready for that type of pain no more. I can't. That pain different. 
Cause you go through the phone I And mean, you read and, and that shit hit home Like yeah people No I ain't doing that shit So I wrote I dropped Zorro at the, fucking, at the fucking daycare right So I walked in there Zorro was asleep When I dropped to the daycare So I pick her up She's laying on my chest I get to the daycare Lady comes like, Good morning She sleep I say I say yeah she sleep Zorro wake up right Now You know how kids be crying Like how They don't be wanting to leave And I be liking that in a way Like, like cry a little bit I'm like, all right, mama, chill. I'll be back. And then you calm down, right? No bullshit. My daughter don't be giving a fuck. When I put her down, take a jacket off, she just walk away. Like, she ain't gonna say hi, bye, or nothing. She just walk away. And that shit be making me mad. Like, you ain't gonna say bye. Like, I take that, she just start walking away. I'm like, yo. She had turned back. Like, where you going? What the fuck you doing? I can't get a look. <laughs> I can't get nothing. She's gonna walk away. That's how you know that they can good. Real shit, my daughter does not cry. She just... Walk away, like it's just—it's so funny in a way. It's like, little girl, think she the fuck grown? She's gonna walk away from me. I'm talking to her. She walking away from me. Okay, cool. She know we in daycare. I can't fuck her ass up and yell at her. But all right, cool, cool, cool. But yeah, my daughter crazy. I don't know how she do that. But that day, she had to go inside the infant room. Well, her age, she like to be with the four year olds and all that type of shit. I learned it today. My daughter thinks she grown. I'm whoop her ass when she get out of there. My pizza, I take them in there. You know the area where, all, where the parents can go. You can't go in every area. Put it down, take a jacket off. She walked into the four-year-old spot. Like it's, it's, it's like it's like it's like infants, infants to two, some shit like that. Then it's from like four, six, and then they go up. She walked towards the four. It's a little boy at the gate. Little boy like hi, hi. He like four, but he know how to talk. So my daughter walking that way. Young boy probably double my daughter's size. So I'm like, why the fuck she walking that way? I'm like, yo, she paying these big ass kids. The class she gotta be in the door closed. Cause you know I took it late. The door closed. So I'm like, excuse me. She be up these big kids. She's like, oh no. <laughs> Zara likes to be in there with the four-year-olds, but she has to be in the infant. I'm like, yeah. So I'm like, yo, you in this room. She start crying. Like she don't wanna walk over there. So she wanna fold her arms like this. I'm like, I'm like, that's where you gotta go. You ain't about to be over here with no big ass, you ain't more big as shit, four years old. Tell us how you doing. She alright, chill out. She, she good, but she going over here. Zara start crying, start pounding my feet and all that. So they like, I said, well, come on, Zara, it's okay. You can come in here. You see what I'm saying? No, man, I'm sorry. I want you to drop. She ain't going there with them. She ain't going over there with the infants. She ain't, gotta be, she ain't about to be with no four-year-olds. What is going on out here? I don't know what her mom is like. Yo, listen, she going over here where she's supposed to be at. Let's go. I had to pick her up. They had to open the door. I set her ass in there. I said, then you go over there and sit down. She going to be mad at me. I don't care. They're not about to go over Like, get the fuck out of here. Let them kids cry. You ain't gonna have my daughter with them for you. Like, that's grown ass men with you two years. She just turned two, two days ago. Four year olds is grown ass men to her. Fuck out of here. Am I over exaggerating? No, I'm not over exaggerating, right? Like, if you take kids to daycare and she's supposed to be one age brag and she wanna be with the four year olds, you ain't letting that slide, right? You wanna hold, 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 we ain't doing that. Hold on, go over there. So I'm thinking you grow, cause then when you were four, you gonna wanna be with the eights. Then when you eight, you gonna wanna be with six year olds. I ain't doing it. It ain't happening like that. Me, she admit, listen, it's a like, two year olds in there. She gonna be with two year olds. She, my daughter gonna be the smartest motherfucking baby in the two year olds. She ain't gonna be the uh, uh, baby with the first. No, she gonna be the smartest fucking two year old with the two year olds. Then, if her ass advanced, which I don't believe, but if she is advanced, I want her to be the smartest two year old in there. I don't want her to be ah uh, 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 with the four year olds. No, fuck out of here. Now, I wonder why I'm taking it. She always just walk away. She probably like that little boy because I'm telling you, I take it like this, like. I took a plenty of time. She always just walk away. And it make me mad. Why she just walk away? Like, she don't even say bye. I never. She just walk away. And then and I caught her ass at that. Hold on. Why are you going over there? Four year olds. Oh, no. Hold up. I'm like, hold up. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. What you doing? Go get your ass over here. I'm glad I, I'm glad I spotted that. And then when I take her ass there, I'm walking up to that femur. This your room over here. There you go. Real bad. I know they're gonna tell her mom. I don't care. Yeah, her dad. Her dad. He came in here tripping today. He kept saying she can't go with the four year olds and all that. I don't care. Tell her whatever you want to. Shit. Man, I gotta go get her today. Let me. Let me go in there and get her ass today. Let me go in there at, at four o'clock and get her ass. And she anywhere by the four year olds. Lighting that daycare the fuck up. Real rap, dog. I'm playing with my fucking door. Don't have no fucking four year olds. I'm trying to tell you, they, that, that's how they get them. They get them while they're young. Nope, not this one. She gonna hang with her age. 
One up or one down. One year old to three year olds. That's it. Fuck all that. Grown ass men in there talking about how you doing. I know he's four years old, but you know, in baby years, he a grown ass man to her. And that's how I look at it. I don't look at him like no four year old young boy. He a grown ass man. He fucking, a fucking young boy like two six. Not big. Two six is a, yeah, he like two six. My daughter like one seven. No, we ain't doing that. You big as shit. You play ball for the fucking Lakers. To her, I'm just saying, in baby, in baby years, you, you got, you got to look at like baby years, not like a devil. You know what I'm saying? He like fucking two seven. He a sinner. Like, oh look, young boy, I don't know. You too big for her. Fuck no. All right, and I don't care. They can call her mom, let her know what I did and all that, and I'll be back. I mean, what the fuck I said? She better not be with no four year olds. If my daughter turns 16 and she like niggas who 20, I'm going back to that daycare and I'm beating them the fuck up because they got something to do with that. I don't want her liking people older than her like that. That's, that's doing too much. Come on now. Fucking big kids. And then they got nerve to tell me, oh, my daughter fresh. What the fuck are you talking about? What are you talking about? How? How my daughter fresh? What are you talking about? She's a fucking kid. Oh, well, you know, she be kissing the little boys now. Oh, love. Everybody try to hear that. No, 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 no. My daughter don't be doing none of that, none of that goofy shit you talking about. No, no, no. Wrong baby. You probably talking about Sahara. My daughter name is Sahara. That's a, that's a whole different baby. I don't know who the fuck you talking about. My daughter only kiss me. And she don't even want to fucking kiss me. So you telling me she be coming to this fucking daycare, kissing a little boy, she don't even kiss me? That's what you telling me? And then the funny part, because they be trying to tell you that, but they don't want to say it. So that's what you telling me? I mean, yeah, I mean what? What? I mean what? You know what I'm saying? Oh, shit. I love kids. Love kids to death. You know what I'm saying? I got a funny way with them, but you know, I love kids. Like, I like cursing them the fuck out. I think that's the funniest shit ever. Damn. It's hotter than 10 Jamaicans and the other box slip up makes it for a beef patty in this motherfucker. God damn. Shit. It's hotter than a motherfucker in this joint. This shit. No, she better not be kissing those little boys in that motherfucker, dog. If, she, if I ever catch her kissing a little boy, she better be giving them CBR. Because she's smart like that. Don't be telling my fucking daughter just be here kissing kids. These kids, I'm telling you, man. These kids are something else. But I watch your kids. Watch your kids. You should watch your mouth. All right. No, I'm, I'm definitely hotter than 10 Jamaicans in the elevator. So that box a little beef patty. A couple dreads fell out. Typical about me, shorty. Don't call me no. I'm not typical boy. Don't don't call me no no typical boy. I'm not no typical boy. I'm I'm extraordinary. You know what I'm saying? I'm sensational. You know what I'm saying? I'm different. There ain't nothing typical about me. Right, what we talking about, man? We got like about 13 minutes before I reach my destination. I need. What we talking about? I ain't got nothing to talk about. I just want to talk about that radio shit. No, I'm just saying, you know how Jamaicans is. You know, they got the dreads. You know, they be sweating a lot all the time because they be real angry about stuff. You know, ain't no disrespect to the, to the you know what I'm saying. You know, I love all my Jamaicans. I was almost half Jamaican, though, so you know, I, I fucked with y'all. I was almost, I was almost half Jamaican, so, you know. Somebody said, how you, how you find confidence? Um, you got to walk with your head down for a long period of time, and it's going to be on the ground. And then when you pick it up, you put it in your pocket, and then you got confidence. I mean, that's just the, the best way I can answer that for you. <laughs> to me, how I was almost half. Y'all never heard the type of joke before? I was almost... I was almost half Jamaican or almost half white. Or, listen, basically, you you was almost half whatever if 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 your mom ever been with that somebody in that race. So if my mom dated a Jamaican guy, which she did, I could have I was almost half Jamaican. I mean, I can't I can't believe I'm explaining that joke. That joke old as shit. That that was some good advice. You walk with your head down, you know, because. 
Confidence is going to be on the, on the ground. You, you walk with your head down, and then, you know, you're going to see it one day. You pick it up, put it in your pocket, and then you're not confident. What the fuck? If I was having Jamaican, you know what you mean? If I, if I was having Jamaican, I, listen. If anything in the past, if anything in the past was to change, I wouldn't be who I am. Nothing can happen to me in the past that, that, that didn't already happen would have kept me the same. So let's just say I got hit by a fucking car and broke one of my legs. I probably wouldn't be who I am now. If you if you change the past in any way, you wouldn't be where you at now. You can't change the past and, and, and get the same result. It don't work like that. So if you change anything about me, I wouldn't be where I'm at or be who I am. All right, next question. We got 11 minutes. Yeah, almost have to make it. I love water now, man. Shouts out to Bay. He's got me drinking water and shit. Like, like you know when a nigga, <laughs> you know when a nigga, he, he, he in a relationship when we talk to him. Niggas start doing all this healthy shit, right? I'm at dinner last night with all my girls, right? And the lady said, what kind of start y'all with the drink? So you know, they talk Sprite, Pepsi, two apple juices. I'm like, give me a water with some ice in it, right? Here go my sister. Cause you know I'm heavy Coca-Cola, Pepsi boy at the restaurant. She look at me like, water? I'm talking about got to do that new girl. I'm like, nah. I mean, I'm like, no, nah. like, you know, I, I mean, I'm trying to be around for a little minute. I ain't, I mean, I ain't that type of time. I'm trying to be around for a little minute. You see what I'm saying? like a motherfucker. Yeah, man, you gotta make me better. If you ain't making me better, then what the fuck is you doing? Smart water is good for you. I'm not, listen, I'm telling you right now. I'm not about to be no heavy Fiji smart water boy. Like, a little Deer Park or Polar Spring, you know, I don't give a fuck. Water is water to me. I ain't got time. I ain't about to be out here spending, you know what I mean, all this money on no fucking water. Like, come on now. Why do niggas think it's okay to be... No, 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 no. You gotta... Females gotta ask yourself that question. That's completely real. When you say, oh, why niggas think you could be in a talk stage for months on end? A nigga will talk to you for the rest of his fucking life if you let him. Y'all gotta bring that up. Okay, so we've been dating for a boom, boom, boom. You know, I think we should move forward. That's something y'all bring up. I'm telling you right now, if the nigga getting the pussy... I mean, all the girlfriend qualities and the girlfriend privileges and all that shit, he ain't never gonna say nothing. You gotta, I select few who might be fucking with a bad bitch or, or a thorough chick. He might, yo, you my, you know, you my bitch, right? But other than that, them niggas gonna talk to you forever. Shit, I'm keeping it big. I talk to you forever. If we, if, if I'm getting my rocks off, you cooking for me, cleaning for me, and we chilling on the basic, I'm not even worried about a relationship, bitch. I feel like I'm in it. I ain't about to bring it up. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it ain't really, it ain't really, you know. DJ Diamond Cuts just texted me and said that they didn't play it because they had a comedian come in the last minute, which is fine. I really don't, it ain't really no big deal. But yeah, man, I nigga, I, I nigga, I talk to you forever, man. I mean, and I, and and I'm some real shit. Y'all know I keep it a bit. I'm, I, you know what I'm saying? I ain't biased. I don't blame no man for doing that. I mean, it's common. Like I said before, it's common. It's common sense. If you can stay at home all day and get paid, would you go to work all day and get paid the same amount? Fuck no. You are gonna do what's easier? You are gonna stay your ass in the house? Us as niggas, if we get all that bullshit, if you ain't putting no pressure on us, we hired. I'm not saying force him into it, but you gotta bring it up. And if he think it's a good idea, then 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 you know y'all go forward. But if he don't, you know. He ain't do the typical footage shit. He ain't bullshit. Oh, I ain't ready for it. Cool, you got your answer. But y'all gotta bring that up because we ain't never gonna do it. And I'm I'm well advanced when this kind of, in this topic, and I'm telling you right now as a man, I'm not doing it either. Why? That's not my job. I'm not oh yeah, you know you my girl. I think no, 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 no. Because at the end of the day, y'all be wanting a relationship 
more than anybody, which is not bad, that's life. So if y'all not saying nothing about it, then y'all not worrying about it. We ain't going to say shit about it. Fuck, no, I don't give a fuck. I won't say, listen, listen, we'll be 67 and we've been talking for 47 years. Kids be like, oh my God, how you meet grandma? Oh, I met grandma on the gram. How long, how long y'all been married? Oh, love. We've been talking for 47 years strong, young fella, watch your mouth. Put some respect on my name. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Bro, shit, I'll tell my grandkids, I'm real. listen, I've been talking to you, girl, for 47 years. Talking? What's that? You know, you've been doing everything you know you're supposed to be doing, but we just been talking. I ain't my girl. Real shit. So any given time, I can just dip out on the family, and it ain't, ain't, ain't no strength to that. Real shit. I'm keeping it in the bank. So again, if you've been talking to a guy, so you know, if you feel like, if you've been talking to a guy, and you feel like it's been a little too long, pop the question, because you're thinking about it. So you should pop the question, like, listen. Not even say, oh, listen, I want you to be my nigga today. Listen, we've been talking for boom, 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 or whatever. I'm really feeling you. I think we are be great together as a couple. What do you think? And if a nigga bullshit, he gonna hit you with it, you know, I ain't really ready for that. Or he gonna be like, yeah, that's a good idea. Then y'all go together, cool. But me personally, I ain't bringing that shit up. But a question I did want to ask y'all since we on this, and I don't want y'all to count it off fast. I want y'all to really just just take like a 30 seconds to think about it. If this the first time y'all said I love you to each other, right? So I'm right, breaking that to you. This your first, this your first time saying I love you to somebody. They never said it to you. You never said it to them, right? You say I love you for the first time, and a person say I love you too after you say it. Would you be mad or that's typical? Would you be mad or not? If you said I love you for the first time and a person say I love you too, would you be mad? Take your 30 seconds. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why I be mad, right? Because, bitch, if I told you I love you for the first time, and you said I love you too, that means you been feeling like that. So why the fuck you ain't saying? That's that's how deep I think about shit. Don't say you love me too, because this is my first time saying it. If you love me too, that means you love me before I just said it. So why the fuck you ain't been just saying? Why you ain't saying then? See what I'm saying? I think about shit like that, because... If I say I love you and you don't say it back, when I tell you I might I might be a little different, I don't feel no type of way if you don't say it back because that's not why I said it. I said I love you. I didn't say we in love with each other. I said I love you. I, meaning me, I love you. If you say, oh, babe, that's so this and that third, I'm fine with that. I don't feel like I got play. I fucking said it. But if I tell you I love you, you say I love you too. So you just fell in love after I said it. Don't be no fucking follower. No, don't be no follower. Don't be no, we should say it at different times. That's that's what is realistic. And every bitch I've been with, when I said that, they always said it after me or they might have said it first. You see what I'm saying? But even with the I miss you shit, I'm just going to be honest with you. If you miss me and I don't miss you back, I'm not about to be, oh, I miss you. No, because that's not, that's 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 how you be getting the, that lying shit. You ain't got to lie to me. I again, I miss you. I miss you. That don't mean you gotta miss me if you don't. I'm be mad. That don't even make sense. How the fuck I'm gonna say I miss you and you be like, oh, oh, that's oh, that's nice. Oh, that. oh so you miss me back? I mean, no. Oh, 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 oh. how you gonna get mad about that? I oh, fuck, I gotta miss you because you miss me. Now, most likely, y'all both probably miss each other, but just stop making other people lie. I feel like a lot of you chicks, you know, it probably it, it, it probably worked both ways, but a lot of you chicks force the other person to lie sometimes and and. and Y'all get mad about it because y'all ask questions that you know that just don't be right, but you want the nigga to say what you want to hear. If the nigga tell the truth one time and you don't like it, he gonna lie to you forever. 
You got to be accepting of whatever the fuck come out of his mouth because you asked a question. Stop asking questions but want the answer that you want. It don't work like that. If you say, did he miss me? He say, no. Start doing something to make him the fuck miss you. Send a motherfucker new with the pussy all hanging out with the little nipple showing. And be like, oh, you miss me now? Yeah, babe, I'm, yeah, I miss you now. Yeah, I'm just saying, be different. Don't get mad because a nigga say he don't fucking miss you. Step your fucking cookies up. Fuck you mean you don't miss me? Okay, watch this. I'm about to pop up on you. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, man. Y'all be, man, y'all be killing me with the, with the motherfucking questions, but then a nigga give you the right answer and you be on some nuts. It don't be that deep. That ain't right falling out about because y'all bitches to get mad over that I miss you shit. Girl, I always want you to say something back. Damn. I don't be understanding of that shit. I never understood that part. Like, listen, you ask me a question, I don't miss you. I'm not saying I don't like you. I don't want to fuck with you no more. I ain't trying to bust you down. I just don't miss you. I just bust you down yesterday. I got two rocks off. You sucked the bullshit off my dick. I seen you three days prior to that. The neck, I don't miss you yet. God damn, I'm a bad nigga for that. Damn, my dick's still sore from the last bus down. And you were mad because I said I don't miss you. What the fuck? Shit. I don't be understanding, man. Like, I don't be like... Like, I don't be like, I don't, I don't get it. But you know, man, I just mind my business, man. You know, I be quiet. I don't be trying to do too much, man. But I don't be understanding, dog. This just, this is just real life shit. Like, I told you all the time. I just be saying what motherfuckers don't be wanting to say. I don't got no right. Fuck do you mean do I miss you? What the fuck you do? I don't be wanting to lie, but I be feeling like a bad guy when I be like, oh, no, I don't miss you. I be like, oh, that's sweet. Like, I be feeling like a nut, but damn, I don't like sis. Sis. It ain't there. It's not there. No, I, no, I'm gonna keep it a bit. If somebody say I love you, I feel like the the proper question to ask is why you love me. I think that's um, I think that's something we should know. I don't think that's like you know overboard. Like especially when the motherfuckers say they love you, they should be able to explain. I never been in love with somebody and couldn't explain why I was in love with them or why I love them. So. You know, when somebody say they love you and you don't want to say it back, you know, to take the attention off you, like, damn, why you love me? And let them explain it. And it definitely, and it definitely got to make sense. You can't just tell me anything, oh, well, I love you because, um, you know, no, it definitely got to make sense. When I feel like, when you explain why you love somebody, that means more. Because I love you ain't really, I love you ain't nothing but three words for real, for real. But when you explain why you love somebody, that stick around. The I love you don't stick around. It's it's the reason why you love them that sticks around way, way after the shit over. Because after you break up with somebody, you be like, well, damn, that motherfucking love is that third. You get over that part. But when motherfucker tell you why they love you and you, and you, and you, and you, it work out, you think about like, damn, that motherfucker love me because I used to do this and that third. And another reason why, another reason why you should tell somebody you love them, like why you love them, because that motivates them they keep it the same. If I say I fell in love with you, I love you because, you know, uh, your personality is is all that. I, I like the way I can talk to you. I like the way you cook. I like the way you control situations. Now they know why you love them, so they're going to want to do that more. Now, you holding them accountable for what you just said. If you tell them why you love them, right? And then let's just say a year or two later, y'all break up or fall off. And you be like, why you break up? You remember why I tell you I love you? You be like, yeah, why? Because I did did, did, did. So now she got a, a, a blueprint on why you fell out of love with her because she ain't doing the shit that you just told her. But if you never tell about why you love them and they just start doing anything, they don't know why you you, you don't fuck with them no more. Like, just to sum it up and, you know, to, to make it more, more more understandable to some people, let's just say I love you because you can cook. Like, oh, my God, I love the way you cook. Oh, baby, I already right, bet. A year later, you stop cooking. You ain't got to wonder why I don't love you no more. Bitch, I told you I love you because you cook. You don't cook no more. So that's kind of how it is when you start, when you first fall in love. Tell people why you love them, and that's going to make them do it even more. Like, you say, Rich, I love you for whatever else, and that's that thing. You be busting me down all crazy. Every time I bust you down, I'm going to try to do my best because you just told me that's why you love me. There's too many just I love you without no meaning. The shit don't mean it. The words, the words I love you do not soften my heart in any way. I love you because then we got some. But I'm just saying, can't wait the shit go south and wonder why when the motherfucker told you why they love you, 
you got the blueprint. All right, bet. He said, because I'm a caring person, so now I'm going to stay caring. You know, he said I could cook. All right, I'm going to keep cooking. And they said, no, you can't go wrong. If a bitch tell you why she love you, nigga, like if she tell you I love you because you loyal and all that, nigga, stay loyal. Don't don't be loyal for fucking three months. She love you now for being loyal. Then start doing all this motherfucking disloyal shit. Because she going to fall out of love with your ass quicker than you know why, because that's why she loves you. But you know, what the fuck I know? I'm a nigga in the Terminex truck, you know what I'm saying, about to do a crib. I'm going to fucking lie with 265 people. Like, what the fuck I know? I don't know that much, you know. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. We got to do better. Better, better. We got to do better than better. Oh, what's Throwback Thursday? I'm about to post a dick pic. Party. Oh yeah, I ain't even got that bread. Let me, let me get that one. Damn. Meet me at the party. I wish I know. I wish you could control these emojis and this keyboard shit without using your hand. I don't. I don't fucking know. Oh yeah, I gotta go, man. I'm super fun talking with y'all. Let me do my fucking job. If I get fired, it'll be on live twenty four hours. Me me me.